The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Dr. Rudy Cashman, welcome to the wellness show today. This half hour, generally, uh, I speak about diabetes, uh, mainly uh, type 2, some ab about type 1, how to prevent it, how to stop it, how to reverse it. Why that is such great interest uh, to me uh, is because it causes 30 40 chronic diseases which could be avoided. Yeah, heart attacks, strokes, uh, dementia, renal disease. 80% of kidney disease is due to diabetes. Yes, liver transplants, heart transplants, kidney transplants, amputations, dislocations, skin diseases, a lot of eye diseases, most of, I'd say, 70, 50 percent of dementia, they call it Alzheimer's disease, but it's dementia related to diabetes. It's a metabolism of insulin which pushes sugar into the cells. That helps form the dementia. We'll speak uh, more about that um, in uh, detail. So that's the reason I've been having this show for the, this many years, and it's important. Uh, these hospitals that we have and that you read about in the paper every day exist because of diabetes. Mm -hmm. They're making a lot of money from these patients. Uh, and I've been there, and I try to convince them to join my army. <laughs> Look at my book. Let's, let's, let's look at this book, Rudy's War and Diabetes. So why, why, why would you pick that term? Well, I've been kissing the issue, touching the issue, embracing the issue to try to change things, but it isn't working. So I declared war, but this is a good war. This is a good war. I'm not invading in another uh, country. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to because even children now are having diabetes and the diseases, the beginning of heart disease, increased rates of cancer. Even newborns uh, can be affected because their mother was eating the wrong food um, and changing uh, the telomeres those are the extension of, of her chromosomes, uh, of the baby inducing abnormalities in the baby, yes, and diseases in the children. The mother was, and even with the father before conception, their health habits uh, affect the uh, zygote, uh, the uh, fertilization uh, of the uh, egg, and then the wrote the genetic script of the, of the uh, baby in the placenta and uterus, and the baby comes out already uh, with diseases because they're eating the wrong food. Uh, so you blame me for declaring war? I want to change this, but, I wanna, uh, but, but my weapons are love and information. <laughs> they machine guns and tanks uh, their information. It's the reason I have this show. I have some books with me. 
And if you follow me, I may attend some of my lectures. I see people for free at the Divine Cafe on Fridays around noon. I'll even buy you breakfast or lunch of healthy food, incidentally, and speak to you. I give talks in churches. Uh, I have declared war. Uh, uh, and if you read yesterday's uh, newspaper, the Journal Gazette editorial from one of the uh, head of the hospital saying, how are they going to save you money down the line? And you, but we have three hospital systems in Vanius, and, and, and there may be some pretense there, but they're, they are not uh, designing a system that helps you prevent this disease. That's what we need. Companies need to maybe go to a hospital and tell them, hey, here's 10 million bucks. You get all our employees, take care of GM, it could be an example. Um, and and uh, you have to treat the illnesses they got. You know what's going to happen? They can be running for me to teach their patients how to get rid of diseases, which they're not doing now. They want you to have these illnesses. Okay. So what I suggest to begin with uh, is let's get tested. Let's get tested every year and put it in your computer or in a book and do it for your children. At a very young age, I would even say age three, you have pediatricians, and I went to some and two to try to change it, but they don't start checking your blood sugar regularly until age 10 or 11. No, a lot of diabetes begins as a newborn, the highest rates of increased obesity country are age three to six. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like you to get is a blood sugar and a serum insulin. Insulin takes sugar and puts it in the cell. So t 10, 20 years before your blood sugar gets elevated. So it shows something in the test. What they'll get is an HbA1c. That's three months of blood sugars, but they don't start until age 10 or so. Mm -hmm. Started very early that's to see because insulin is elevated 10 to 20 years before the sugar's up. So you could catch the disease very early, lose three or five pounds, and disease is gone. Probably live to be 100. But today, I mean it today, probably 70% to 80% of the people are. are have diabetes. Maybe 40% are diagnosed. The rest have elevated insulin and that doctor never ordered it. Mm -hmm. The information on ordering that has been out for years. Joseph Kraft, K-R-A-F-T, he wrote a book about it 2006, but he did the research 1990s. It's a result in the literature. You can catch him on YouTube. Joseph Kraft, K-R-A-F-T. He's 92 years old, talking to a man named Cummings, the obesity doctor in the world, uh, maybe. And, and uh, Kraft is saying, I'll be looking down on you for a long time before the nation, the medical system, the government changed to tell you the, the correct test. And you know what? He's watching us today because he's died, but he had it absolutely correct. Joseph Kraft, go to YouTube, look at, uh, look at that. I said this may be by his book. I wish I brought it with me today. Uh, you can read it in two or three nights. It's thin, full of graphs. He did autopsies, blood sugar test, and an insulin test, 14,000 kids. So the information is there. But when you test yourself, and if you have heart disease, uh, uh, dementia, kidney disease, dental disease, amputations, dislocation, cancer, check it at least every three months to see if what you are doing uh, is, is changing in your body. Because there are definite things that you can do. Matter of fact, what I teach people today in the science is evolving, but I involved with it. I'm not close-minded. 
There's some New Hampshire which is true. I take it in. Industry welcomes change. They take it in like that. And medicine takes 30, 40 years for me to change. For 30, 40 years, they told us fat was good. No, fat was bad. <laughs> fat was bad. And, and uh, sugar was good. They told us that 30, 40 years. That's why when you look around, look around, look around, look at the people. What are you looking at? Unhealthy people, unhealthy people in this country. You know, uh, you know, some other nations, you don't see that, although it's spread across the world. The most diabetics right now actually are, are in, in China and India. Mm -hmm. They're also in Russia. You know, what the cost have done to Ukraine is terrible. But uh, our government made a fast food company leave Russia, and they shut down. But it's also big, when you think about it, no one brought it up. That's gonna save a lot of lives, yeah, because they're not eating the processed food anymore. At least, maybe be some other, maybe a Russian company uh, will take it over, because people are stressed because of the, the war and stuff. So I'm not saying anything positive about Russia. I'm, what I'm saying is they may be healthier because the fast food company came out of there. I mean, that's never going to happen here. That we, but the, the government will outlaw it. But we ourselves have to learn to eat healthier, eat food in its uh, natural state. So number one is testing. And test your whole family. Keep it in a book. Keep it on a computer, whatever. Uh, you choose. Suppose you are uh, diabetic and, and you down the line, maybe you already got some of these diseases, you're going to get some, or you're going to get some of these uh, diseases. Usually t type of diabetics, uh, most of them don't live past age 70. Many are dead in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Mm -hmm. And there's certain racial groups and ethnic groups where the rate of diabetes is even higher because in their culture, because of stress in their lives, and maybe because they were slaves uh, and they had to eat sugar cane. Uh, but that's only, they starved them, nothing was available, so they ate the stalk of the sugar plant, and guess what? It's full of fructose corn syrup, and they have a much higher rate of diabetes. Maybe, I'm guessing, 90% are diabetic, maybe 30, 40% of them know it, but it, Every contact with the doctor should check the sugar, and he should say, I don't tolerate you having diabetes. I want you to get rid of it. See you back in a month or two or three. None of this, I'll see, here's your medication. I'll see you in a year. And you know, what's even more scary is that the company that makes insulin, well-known company, uh, uh, that the insulin stuffs the sugar in the cell, okay? And the cell goes like this. That's why the diabetics are all overweight. It, it, they were overweight maybe to cause the diabetes, but they even get worse. And, and the proof is where you inject them, you'll see a bump. And that's because the sugar swelled up, the cell swelled up, because the insulin stuff, sugar in there, and insulin does other things. It causes dementia, it increased rates of cancer, stiffens the artery, causes visual loss, hearing things. So, uh, I mean, what are you gonna call it? The wrong thing? A scam? It's a company trying to make money, but let the hospitals accept it? Well, they make more money from that because they're seeing the diabetics and the heart attacks and, 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 and the dialysis centers are treating the kidney disease, but kidney disease is 80% preventable. But they never bring it up. The GFR, that's glomerular filtration rate. Okay, the rate and is measured 100. And if you're a kid, you should be 100. If you, if you need new kidneys, around five or zero, okay? The GFR goes down as we get older naturally. 
being 39 for the 40 some time next month, I would guess, and I've checked mine, it's probably 70 or 80 something, that occurs quietly, no symptoms. But if your GFR is going down over the years when it reaches uh, 35, 30 or so, they may recommend dialysis. That's 14 hours a day. You sit in a center while, while they're exchanging, uh, filtering your blood. Mm -hmm. That could be avoided. So you need to get, check the GFR every year. If it's going down, then do something about it. I'm going to get rid of my pot belly. I'm declared war on diabetes. I don't want my legs amputated. I don't want to be dialyzed. Most of dementia is due to diabetes, and the reason being is when your sugar's are up, the insulin level is up. The insulin level is up in the brain. Your sugar lives mostly on brain, not completely. It, it, can, li it can live on ketones, they found out in the last 10, 20 years. Uh, it is a way of eating ketones. Uh, the brain loves ketones. That's fat. small molecules of fat made in the liver. Uh, when, uh, when you're not eating sugar, your sugar level goes down, your insulin level goes down, your fat cells open up, fat goes uh, to the liver, it turns into ketones, your brain runs on it, your heart and pancreas and kidneys run on ketones. That's, so ketone metabolism, that is an excellent way to be energetic and to feel good. Uh, and an easy way to get into ketone, which is a way of uh, eating, I now recommend is, is to do some fasting. Do I mean fast, which is, goes back thousands of years, a day or two, a week? No. I'm talking about time-regulated fasting. Uh, what I mean by that? When we sleep through the night, okay? About four in the morning, the day is approaching, your brain figures out that there's a little bit of stress coming because you're having to get up eventually. Uh, and steroids get secreted, and that increases the blood sugar to keep it up a little bit. You don't have to eat to do that, okay? Then the opposite of insulin, glucagon, in the pancreas gets secreted, and that keeps it up a little bit. Growth hormone is secreted by your pituitary gland. Uh, and the growth hormone increases the blood sugar. So your blood sugar in the morning is, is like this, and really you're not hungry. So to skip breakfast, to skip breakfast and eat maybe your first meal around 10, 11, or 12. And then if you eat good fats, 50, 60, 70% guacamole, olive oil, uh, fats and plants, for example, uh, and, and, and some, I'm not against eating some meats, but you gotta have good fats. Omega-3 fats, those are good, uh, are good fats. And then eat again six o'clock. Uh, so eating two meals. The easiest way, the quickest way to stop and reverse diabetes, you get rid of it two to four weeks. That fast, I don't believe it, no that fast. I've done it to patients many times. And if the kidney disease is not that advanced, like stage three or so, it still can be stopped and reverse stage four or five. It's tougher. I have a few patients, so I've managed to stabilize a stage five or four. They haven't had a transplant yet. Is that going to work out? I do not know. But I have one lady who doesn't want a transplant and and she's two and a half years now. We're getting rid of her diabetes in a month. And, and kidney disease has stabilized. And Stephen Gundry, G-U-N-D-R-Y, he's written some books. Uh, on page 260 of the book called Plant Paradox, he, he has on, on page 258, next 10 pages, he is under an aggressive program on what to eat for people with advanced kidney uh, disease. He's had many patients who has been able to stop and reverse their disease. He is, has a list of the foods. And the patient I have with stage five kidney disease is just following the foods he recommends. I see her every two weeks, and I'm gonna see her again tomorrow, actually. Uh, and she is following that. I'm not saying that's gonna work, but, but someone's gotta test it. 
Uh, I'm afraid these dialysis centers are run by what a couple of companies, uh, and the doctors that run it in this town, I've spoken with them, they're not interested in helping me explore this. I'm just looking for some help. I, I like to see about 20 people with advanced kidney disease uh, and see if, if we can, through Gundry's way of teaching, he calls it aggressive uh, n nutrition. And let's face it, he is very knowledgeable. He worked at Loma Linda University. He did transplants on babies and adults for 15 years and decided one day, and he himself was unhealthy at age 50, mm -hmm. decided one day, I'm gonna change. These diseases that I'm doing heart transplants on, newborns and babies. He says, yeah, the mothers, so they had illnesses that could have been prevented. I'd rather teach prevention. He did. And he opened his own institute in California and Arizona now. Uh, and you can find him online and find him in his books. I, I, just, he, I think he's probably the most brilliant uh, metabolic, physiologic, knowledgeable individual at this stage. He's on YouTube now, and, and he used to be unhealthy himself. But he learned. He changed. That's what you have to, you know, uh, admire. My throat's getting a little dry, so I have a little water, I know. So what, what am I really saying? Um, a very good book to read. And I think the best book on the subject, I mean, I wrote one, you see it right there, Rudy's War on Diabetes, which I think is easy to read and, 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 and all the things I've said uh, you know, in there. But he, here's another one, Jason Fong, The Diabetes Code. Uh, fantastic book. Fantastic book. I encourage you to have a look at that. You can get in the library where I'm at right now. Uh, no, you can buy it online. Uh, $19, I mean. If your life's dependent, I think we can probably swing that. And, uh, but to read that, he even found, which I really find is great, and great news, people who have been uh, on insulin for 20 to 30 years, if they start eating the right way, uh, and especially if you do it, the keto is even faster, um, that the fat that you collected in the pancreas and in the liver, although you may be overweight, leaves there first when you're eating right. Remember, you're now in keto metabolism. You're living off the fat, the fat cells are opening up, you're using them for energy, you're getting, losing a pound a week at least. The fat leaves the pancreas and liver first, and the pancreas is still alive. It will secrete insulin again over 90% of the time, right in his book. And, uh, and he's on YouTube also, he has a post there. Uh, probably a new one uh, every week. And, uh, but uh, again, reading his book has value. So I already mentioned my book, I mentioned Joseph Kraft uh, and Jason uh, Fong. Incidentally, he's written other books too. He is so knowledgeable. He used to be a kidney doctor. And then he, remember I've been speaking about the kidney a lot. And then he finally decided, you know, other people I see with kidney disease, they're diabetics. So he quit the kidney field, became a diabetic doctor. He's in uh, uh, Canada. And uh, he also wrote one uh, on obesity, diabetes, cancer. Uh, and, and he discusses kidney disease there because he, he was one. And uh, I, I would highly suggest you have a look at those get the blood testing done. Uh, we've been captives of the industry, mm -hmm. the hospitals. I've even been to them, spoke to some of the diabetic doctors. They know a lot about diabetes. 
But once I bring up to how you teaching the patients how to get rid of the disease, that's another subject. That's up to the patient. Sure, it's up to the patient. But the doctor, the provider, the nurse, the nurse practitioner must see them back frequently till they can rely on the patient. I'll tell you one other good thing to do with diabetes. Uh, you, uh, many have blood testing systems where you can check it yourself. And I, I really uh, uh, like the Libre, L-I-B-R-E, Lifestyle Libre System. Also Dexcom.com, maybe you have another system that works uh, good for you. But the, the in the Libre, uh, uh, what you have is a monitor. It can be your phone or a little monitor, a little patch on your arm or wherever you want to put it. And you put it on there, it puts a slight stick in the skin, but you don't even feel it. It has to be replaced every two weeks, but you have your, your blood sugar reading available. You can be eating, uh, you're not sure that this food you just ate uh, is healthy or how much it raised your blood sugar. Uh, and you, you hit a button and there's a blood sugar level right there. It puts it on a graft. You can look at the last few months and see where your sugars have been, what foods spike it. And it has all sorts of information available. It's a wonderful system, but yet, if a doctor were to someone and they said, well, you got type 2 diabetes and they, they want you to eat this way, or, or most of the dietitians, I find, unfortunately, some are just great, but the majority are not going to teach this. They're going to have you follow an old system of eating foods that have sugar in them, and your diabetes is not uh, going to go away. But under, you need a prescription to get the Dexcom or the liver system. That's ridiculous, but it's true. But, and, and to me, every patient who is a diabetic should have a Dexcom or a liver system so they can check their blood sugar all day long, frequently, especially uh, if they don't feel right, check their blood sugar, maybe 40, who knows. Uh, if you're a diabetic, you need to check it uh, multiple times a day. Other, and, uh, uh, but then you can, it's a motivator. If you find out it's elevated, you say, let me review the week's history of what I'm eating. Or well, think about it and say, well, I can't eat that food because I'm a sugar up. It's a motivator. It's, it's a motivator. So uh, let's summarize the system here a, a, a little bit. Don't accept the disease. Oh, oh I, I know of people who says, oh, I accept the disease. I just take my pills and insulin. You will die 10, 15, 20 years before your time. You may live 10 years longer than, than if you didn't pay any attention at all. But especially these, these ones that have these catheters and monitors in them. I saw a child recently who was way overweight. And what a, he had type 1 diabetes. And he was eating anything he wants to and took 100 units of insulin. Remember what insulin does? He could have been living in 10, 20 units of insulin, eat the right food, and he lived to be 100. But he, his lifespan is going to be 20 years short. Uh, so uh, these uh, monitors they put in people on catheters to allow you to eat more insulin, don't fall for that. That's industry making, making uh, um, money uh, on you. I want you to get a Dexcom. Um, or Libre, so you know where the sugar is, and then you can motivate yourself to quit so that you're getting regularly. I know of a minister that I coached. He, he had no diabetes in three weeks. He had, he had the Libre system. Um, and uh, so this show I do every two weeks. It's on YouTube. Read some of the books. I hope you also declare war on diabetes because it's about hospitals. I'm going to do it. They're making too much money. Okay. Uh, and, and you need to be upfront. Do a little reading. Come to see me for free at the Divine on Fridays at noon. I see people for free. I even buy them lunch or breakfast of good food. And uh, 
So thanks for watching uh, this show uh, and uh, continue to, to gather information. And I hope you live to be 100 and challenge me to a game of pickleball, but you better be good because I'm very experienced or tap dance with me. I do this because I care about you. Thank you.